Hi, this is Tina Hilton of clericaladvantage.com and I'm here with another WordPress website um, tutorial from this girly girl geek to you. In my last tutorial, we discussed how to add a new page to your menu. Today, we, I want to discuss something that's a little bit more advanced. I have a lot of clients who want to make a menu item on the top level that is not clickable. For example, they have some menu items like I have here, but they don't want people to be able to click on My Adventure Continues. They only want the two sub items to be clickable. Well, how do you do that? Um, as we learned in our last tutorial, when we add these items, we're actually pulling the pages along and into the menu structure and it automatically links to that page. So how in the world are we going to keep the link in the menu from going to the My Adventure Continues page. Not as hard as it seems. Instead of creating from a page by dragging and dropping, we're actually going to create a linked item for our menu. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to remove this page link, which is going to change this a little bit, but we'll fix it in a minute. Don't panic. And the first thing I always do is I always make a link to the main page. So in this case, it's right to the main page via uh, learning at vasurvivalschool.com. And then we're going to do the text. Now, in this case, I'm going to have that same text that I had for my page. So it's going to be my adventure continues. And now that I have that, I can add it to the menu. Now that it's added to the menu, I can pull it up where I want it to be. And then I can pull these so that they're sub items, as I showed you in the last tutorial. All right, right now, when I save this menu, that is still going to be clickable. And let me show you. We'll refresh here. It's not going to take us anywhere, but it is going to refresh this page because it's going to take us to the main page here. So you see the page refresh. Well, well, we don't even want it to do that. We want it to actually be a static menu item. Static meaning that it does nothing, meaning it's not even clickable. Um, so how do we do that? Well, let's go back into our menus and we're going to open that item. And what we're going to do is now that we've got it created, we're simply going to delete the link and save the menu. Now there's no link. There's just there's just the text that's there. So let's refresh this again and see what happens now. Now that my page is refreshed, we'll look at it and you'll see that little clicky hand, the little hand that shows us that it's a clickable item doesn't even show up when we hover over My Adventure Continues. That means it is now a static item. Nobody can click on it. It's not going to take them anywhere. It's not going to refresh the page. It's just a placeholder. It's a placeholder so that people can go here and then click on one of the choices below. And it's that easy to make a static menu item. There are lots of reasons that you might want to do it. Um, definitely a situation like this where you actually don't have any content for that page, you know, for that placeholder, the content is actually um, sub pages or other pages. So you now know how easy it is to create a static menu item. If you need more personalized help or need a little assistance with WordPress or the Headway theme, you can give me a shout out at my email address, which is thilton at clericaladvantage.com or visit my website at clericaladvantage.com for more information.